Today I do a lot of work to improve my nether hub. First off is taking this really ugly brick building containing my bee and basalt farms and turning it into something much better. Alright everybody, I have now finished transforming the ugly brick factory into something a lot more pretty for my bee and basalt farms. As you can see, there's quite a lot of detail packed into this small little build, and it was originally just a few brick cubes attached to each other which was pretty ugly, but now it's a lot cleaner looking, and a lot nicer looking in my opinion at least. And inside if we go in here real quick, you can go up, and there's a basalt farm right here. Basalt farm manual, and you just like mine with your pickaxe. Just like one of those skyblock cobble generators. And then right here is the bee farm and honey farm storage system. Well, I mean bee farm honey plus wax storage system, excuse me. You just have to open the chest, and when it closes again, it activates a calibrated skulk sensor, which then triggers a piston door. I also made some minor improvements to my bee farm, nothing crazy. I just spawn proofed it and switched out the sunflower for flowering azalea, which would quadruple the rates. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and now let's get to a much larger project. As I said in the build tour, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, and if you don't do it, it will be You can also leave any feedback or constructive criticism you might have in the comment section. Just please keep it constructive. As I also said in the build tour, it's time for a much larger project. This is my gold farm. It produces 1,600 gold blocks per hour, and I love it. Right now, I'm here to transform it. Gold farms have a distinct look. If you see stacked layers of magma blocks on another roof, a gold farm is pretty much the only thing that it could be. For this upgrade, I want to keep its soul as a gold farm while also making it look much better. I want it to be where if someone looks at it, they probably won't immediately think that a gold farm is inside, but if you tell them, they'd go, oh, that makes sense. I have spent several hours gathering materials for the top section of my gold farm transformation. I want to build a more detailed city on top of the pillar I've already built, and so I've collected quite a few materials. I don't have an exact schematic of what I'm going to build, but I just thought I'd gather some because it's nice to have materials ready to go. And this is probably way too much, but it's better to have too many materials than too few. Now let's finish this project. Okay, so the next part of the build is really risky. So I have to go all the way up here, except that if I so much as right click this once, I could lose my world. Oh my gosh, okay. That is scary. <laughs> that is so scary. I'm not even sure probably what I need. I do know I need some stairs. At least I want some. I'm ready to trap doors. And if I exchange them with stairs and then get into here, I should be able to get the XP without the pigment hitting me. Yup, that is working. 
And then I need to basically make blocks so I can't accidentally right click on the boats. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's all gonna need to be a block or gonna attack the armor stand. Thinking honestly, what if we put a fence right here and right here? Although I think I will need a piston for that. Okay, warped fence and piston and button, some kind of activation mechanism. Alright, I think I have all the materials. This is seriously stressful. Can I pigs yet? Which means I can safely place the fences in. I don't believe you can access the bellies of buckets from here, but I don't feel like testing it. Yeah, I think we're safe. I think we can't die if we right click accidentally. That's good. Although I'm not completely sure, so I don't want to test it. Because, like, if we do end up still getting in the boat, yeah, that's pretty much the end of our world. Let's switch out these blocks for Skulk. Now is also a good time to do some decoration. I think we'll also do it on camera because this is the sketch clip time. Trust me when I say that this transformation is totally sick and worth the risk. So it looks like it's open, but it's actually blocked off, so you can't just sneak through. That's nice. And then I basically need to repeat this around every side. And just replace all of this white stained glass with Skulk, and then it will spawn for a bit, of course. Okay, this is build limit. You know, or places with Skulk, I don't care. To make this all spawn proof at the top, because everything got to be spawn proof, I'm not sure if mobs can actually spawn here in the first place, but just to be absolutely certain, I'll replace these blocks with blackstone slabs. For any other blocks up here that I might need to spawn proof, or just blocks in the build in general that I might need to spawn proof, I'll use moss carpet, because I have a huge excess of moss. It might have been dangerous, but we actually improved the safety of this killing chamber. Let's go. And so, with that really sketchy part of the video out of the way, let's get back to a time lapse. Alright, so I have now finished the gold farm transformation, and I think it turned out very well. I checked on YouTube and Google search, and I could not find any other examples of someone transforming the exterior of the nether side of a gold farm, which is really the main section of most gold farms, so I think I might very well be the first, although don't quote me on that. And as you see, there's a lot of colorful circular architecture, and also some really cool texturing techniques that I found, like look at that, that looks nice. There's also this really cool flame effect that I did for this platform, which didn't look right without something to support it, so I just did a little bit of a fire with honey blocks, which is a really unique building block, but it turned out well. If we go in here is my main gold storage system, and there's this really fast minecart elevator that I built, and then there's the killing chamber at the top. And this is pretty close to like the maximum capacity, maximum rates this gold farm can produce. There's a lot of pigment coming through, it takes a minute to warm up, but it's very good, and it produces a lot of XP and gold. And then there's also some powdered snow right here. I originally didn't think those stripes would look up, but they ended up turning out pretty well. And there's also an absolute ton of gold this thing produces, and I just took the liberty before recording this clip of crafting it all up into gold blocks. So yeah, we have quite a lot of gold, as you can see. And then also around the side, this is a custom alphabet I've been trying to create that is not exactly correlated. It's there are 34 letters instead of 26. That is for writing English, and just says gold farm with an exclamation point. And then there's the actual gold farm here in the center. And there is usually some leftover XP here that you can just go into the collection area and if you need to burn it, you can just step into the lava and the XP will burn. It's useful if there's too much. And so that's about it for my epic build. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.